a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on beastofwar.com. Flames of War brings you the battles of World War II in epic 15mm scale. Go to the hub on beastofwar.com to find news, tactics and tutorials about the game. So, hi guys, welcome to What's in the Box. As you can see, I'm joined by Master Lions Hello. today. We're having a look at more bolt action. We've got the new plastic German Grenadier set. Yes, now if you remember uh, previously, this was a metal set. You uh, had a couple of boxes of those, uh, didn't you? Yeah, I actually put one unit into my, my forces. I used them as a sort of a firefighting squit section. Yeah. Put them in a nice half track, just where there's problems on the board, send them in, they do the job. The but we're on the plastic set. Yeah, we are on the plastic set. I just want to point out as well, you made them a horrible amount of points though, didn't you? You made like a lot of your army really elite, didn't you? Yeah, but the way I looked at it, for the Grenadiers, you have the option to put in two light machine guns, right? Yeah. I don't do that. Okay. Because everybody's armed with an assault rifle anyway, so to actually arm one guy with a machine gun, I'm losing one guy to be the looter, and mm. the other guy to be the light machine gunner. Yeah. So you get the same number of shots, roughly. Okay, uh, so no, fair enough. So you're not really gaining much then. No, no. So I save my points there. Mm -hmm. I, I do like throwing in the odd Panzerfaust here and there, but that's just situational. If I yeah. have spare points at the end of building a list, I'll throw them in. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're on to the plastic kit, and yep. they are lovely. Now, it says right here, late war. Do not try to use these in a mid-war list or an early war list. The historical buffs out there will give you a smack. So, crack open the box <laughs> and have a look at what we get. Mm -hmm. How many do we get in this? Uh, Eins, zwei, drei. A lot. Okay. We get a lot. Okay. <laughs> so, you, so you can only count to spy. <laughs> <laughs> I caught him. I can only count to Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. <laughs> <laughs> I've stumped him. I finally stumped him. <laughs> anyway, on to the sprue. <laughs> so, uh, on our first sprue, actually, I can get closer than that. Mm -hmm. So, if we have a look here, what we're seeing is. Ammo packs, I think. Red bag. Red bag? Yep. I, I assume this was the old gas mask canister that gas people just threw yeah. the gas mask out of. Mm -hmm. uh, more bread bags. If I flip this over, we'll see better. Mm -hmm. uh, entrenching tool, bayonet. Yep. Uh, entrenching tool. Yep. We've got our, yep, if I keep them in shot. Mm -hmm. We've got our main bodies here. One MG42, I believe. Well, I can't see from here, so I'm going by your judgment. We'll grab the other sprue. All right, fine, I'll grab the other sprue then. Fine. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, we've cool. got a standard rifle, more bodies. Yes, MG42. Yep. Uh, we've got the MP40, mm -hmm. uh, more arms. Uh, it's now known standard rifle with the slings, which is quite nice. What the kind of rifle ones. is it, Justin? Uh, K98, I believe. Well done. <coughs> we then have a, just to be nasty, we have a, a PPSH for some reason. Mm -hmm. So if you want to give one of your German Grenadiers a PPSH, you can. Uh, moving further down the sprue, we've got another of the K98s. We've got one actually held in the hands, which is different. Because normally... not a K98. No, that's not a K98. Is it not? Which one are you pointing at now? Uh, uh, I'll come to the front camera. I'll okay. point to you. So this? That one? Yeah. That this, one? This so one. What, the one that's not in the arm. The one that is in the arm. Right, the one that is... Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's a K98. Yeah, what's the other one? It's a Gewehr 43. Okay. <laughs> Back to the sprue. <coughs> so... We've got the Gewehr here, mm -hmm. we've got our K98 here, mm -hmm. we've got more pouches, we've got a Panzerfaust, again, in the hand. Yes, that's this a nice touch. This is a big touch. difference for this kit, which I was trying to point out. Before I was so rudely interrupted by Master Lions. I'm sorry. Normally, what? for bolt action, the gun is actually a separate component entirely from the arms and hands. Yeah. So, some people have had issues before this, where they're trying to put it together, and you get the floating gun syndrome, where, mm -hmm. yes, the arm's up, butt's into the shoulder, not a problem, but the gun is sitting about here. Yeah, it's it's a problem that a lot of sort of less your, experienced players would have. Yeah, um, you know, but it's it's easily remedied once mm, you know what you're up to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. uh, right. What else have we got on the sprue here? Ooh. Okay. Now I like this for a little detail. Uh, across here, if I can find it again, you can see this is actually an ammo belt which you can hang around the neck of one of your guys. So if you do decide to put that light machine gun in, I personally wouldn't. You can. And then you've got all the heads for your infantry. Now, uh, I think the sprues are all the same in this, but I will double check. So, yes, yes, and yes, and yes. Mm -hmm. So, right. you're getting five of those sprues, which is going to make you 30 guys total. Mm -hmm. So, 
that's a lot of late war grenadiers. Yes, you know, and you can do three nice big ten man squads with that. You done? Yes. Okay. Um, the other thing I want to point out as well on the sprues is that a lot of the infantry, or at least two of the infantry on each sprue, are wearing their um, their smocks, their salt bands uh, as yes. as a I'll smock. I put this under close camera. Um, so it's one of these guys here. Yep, that guy, and there's a guy on the far side of the sprue as well who stood. Uh, yeah. So this gentleman here. Yeah. So. If you're looking to try and get into learning how to paint the camouflage, it's that's definitely the way to go because you've got plenty of models to work on. Mm -hmm. Now you do have a choice of patterns here. You can do uh, the regular splinter. That worries me. Yeah, or you can do the tan and water, which is a little, a little easier to go by mm -hmm. and is perfectly okay for late yeah. war. Um, if you want to be really odd, you could possibly do them in the P dot SS or the. Um, yeah. I, the, I don't uh, know. Autumn I, leaf. I wouldn't do them in the SS colors. I would probably do the tan and water, like you said. Mm. But the one piece of advice I'll give to anyone that's wanting to try doing camouflage patterns on these: go to Google, punch in the ammo color or the ammo type, or the camo type, not the ammo type. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking to do splinter, punch in World War II German splinter camo pattern. Yep. That'll bring up a nice swatch for you, and use that as sort of a baseline to actually give you a guide of how that camouflage should look. Yep. Same for the others. And to be honest with you, if you do want to do your grenadiers as SS grenadiers, P dot is very, very easy. Mm. You know, it's a couple of splotches of um, the sand and the green, and then you take a, a toothpick and you just dot yeah. the the rest of the colours on. Yeah, I have seen what our guy that helped us out with a couple Lewis, of camps. Yeah. Lewis has done very good uh, mm. P dot camouflage and all yeah. that sort of stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, the other things we get in the box. Yep. So we get our. Ooh, we get a lovely, get a a lovely sheet. little transfer sheet. If I can get this shown. So you've got yep. all your rank insignia and stuff in here. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what these are for. Uh, those are cuff titles. Let me have a look, please. Uh, if you can yep. go back to the front and I'll... Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll also show this, which is one of the things. Do not throw this away, guys, because it is very useful to you. This shows you your sprue layout and tells you what everything on the sprue is. So if you're going through your book building a list and building your forces as you go, this will be your Bible. This will be showing you exactly what you want to pick off the sprue to get what you need. Mm -hmm. You also get the other side. It shows you some pre-built examples as to how you can build your grenadiers. And it gives you a little bit of bump beside each one telling you about them. Okay, so I will explain the transfer sheet. Okay. Because the transfer sheet does need a little bit of explaining. Okay. Um, so if I bring us back into close I will have to lean over okay. the table a little bit. So you have the cuff titles, which are the long stripes. So these? Yep, those are the long stripes with the uh -huh. writing in the middle of them. Yep. That's your divisional name. Okay. Or whatever. Beside that, now these are really interesting these? ones. Yes, these are tank killer markings. Ah. These are for individuals. It was an award worn on the left arm, I think, mm -hmm. uh, that was for an individual destroying a tank. All right. So, uh, so basically. Panzerfaust, Panzer Shrek teams yeah. would have had a fair few of these. Yeah. Um, Silver was for an individual tank. Gold, I believe, was for five. And you do get gold and, and silver. And there's a couple on of golds on there. Nice. Uh, you have your regular ranks. The very top transfers. If you want to put it back under the uh, camera for me, Justin. Yep. So the little shield emblem. The the shields, the two little shields. Those are paired for the helmets. Okay. Now, a lot of the helmets on the sprues have helmet covers on them, so you may not have to worry about those too much. Yeah, but if you want to go in for that last little bit of extra detail, it's not bad. If you have a helmet that can actually take them, there's one or two on the sprue that will yeah. take them. But obviously you're not going to need all of them. Yeah, but if you think each sprue has six guys, mm -hmm. and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven heads. Yes, but I'm just, I've just told you that some of them have camo net covers on them. Yeah, I know, but if you really want to go for it and pick out all of them that don't have the camo net from each sprue, you can get enough guys on there to make it look right. I have no idea what you're saying. I'm saying, <laughs> so explain it again there, for, there, for everyone out right. there. There will be enough heads on this sprue without a camo net. That yeah. If I take all of those yeah. and start putting them onto my guys, okay. I will have enough to do a reasonable number of guys with the insignia on the helmet to make it look right instead of it just being one or two guys in every unit. John, you've gone very quiet. No, because you can only put them on, you can only put the two shields on potentially one helmet on the sprue. Ah, fair enough. Well, I'll take that as being proved wrong. Fair enough. No, no, such is life, such is life. Right, uh, anyway guys, I think myself and John will move on here. We'll get these built up and we'll show you a few of the built examples when we come back.
fight for the Iron Kingdoms as a Warcaster. Take control of the mighty Jacks, Arcane Devices, and Dark Sorceries to bring the fight to the War Machine Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War Hub. Take command of elves, dwarves, and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on BeastsOfWar.com. And welcome back. Right, uh, I actually took the Germans away and built them because I'm the one who's playing German. Yes, and I was told to do other things. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Alright, uh, let's get them under the close camera. Mm -hmm. I'm actually really happy with how these little dudes turned out. So, we've got one of our guys who has lost his helmet, running forward with an MP44. Mm -hmm. I love the sculpt on the face of this little guy. Yeah. Very much the typical German soldier. I've then done a, uh, an, an LMG guy. Mm-hmm. But the way they've sculpted this, you actually have the, the gun up on his shoulder, which I think is a nice touch. Yeah, because you do see a lot of the time the Germans just, when, when they're on a march or something like that. Right, it's the, up over the shoulder and off you go. Yeah, the gunner has it over his shoulder and he's carrying stuff with him. So. Yeah. Now, this is sort of a pose where he's kneeling down, just getting ready to fire. Yeah. Uh, we then have, of course, our Panzerfaust guy. I love the fact that we now have a guy who's actually holding one of these. Because mm -hmm. normally I had no idea where he put them. Yeah. Uh, although he technically, well, no, 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 not not going down that road. What have I done? <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Okay, so we have one with a rifle. Yep. Uh, he's and a schmuck. Uh, advancing I, with his zelt band on. Yep, and I put the bread bag onto uh, most of them. Mm -hmm. Our next guy has a K98 with a sling, which yep. again, it's another nice touch, an extra little detail mm -hmm. to add to the mini. And so you've... You've, you've put the wrong ammo pouch on <laughs> Yes, I just noticed that. <laughs> I was looking Wait, at like, didn't I mean to put an MP44 on them? That's, that, 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 those are STG mag pouches. Just <laughs> what are you doing? You've gone off the wall. And the last one is our <laughs> officer. Yeah. Uh, reading a map, pair of binoculars. <laughs> he's, he's lost in the middle of Belgium. Yeah, he's lost in the middle of Belgium reading Fifty Shades of Grey. Oi! Family show! <laughs> <laughs> it, it's actually a really great little kit. Yeah. I love all the extra details that are going into it. It's going to let people really, really get into the nitty gritty of what their soldiers would have been armed with. Yep. And for the beginner, I would say this is a great pack to pick up. If you're getting a start army, grab this with it, mm -hmm. because it's giving you so many extra weapon options. Yeah. And always have an extra infantry and bolt action is no bad thing. Exactly. Right, uh, I think that'll do for these. Yep. We move on. Guys, drop us a comment below. Uh, have you picked up the new Grenadiers from Warlord, or are you waiting to see what else comes out from the Germans? Mm -hmm. Guys, we'll see you in the next video. Anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Keep your blaster handy, the West is a dangerous place. Fight to survive as men turn to monsters and the dead rise on the Wild West Exodus Hub at BeastsOfWar.com.